Okay, now say that again. You look like a guy that has a warrant. That's why I want to see your ID. You look like a guy who has a warrant, so let me see your ID. Well, officer, you look like a cop who likes to violate rights and abuse your authority, so no thank you. Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. This video comes to you by way of Wax World Cole Jr.'s channel. He's a passenger in this vehicle, and the cops in this video care absolutely nothing about the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. Let's have a look. I'm not the driver of the car. It doesn't matter. If you have a warrant, you have a warrant. I don't have any warrants. Okay, what's your name? You don't need to know my name. Yes, I do. Who do you suspect me of being? Call the supervisor. So you might be my ID back, please. Picture that takes care of Y'all call for a supervisor? Did he say no? If you're not the guy I'm looking for, dude, it's not, it's not a big deal. Just let me see your ID. What you need to see my ID for? Purpose, for a minute ago, a just that. a minute ago, you said you need to see my ID because you thought I was somebody. Yeah. You just verified I'm not whoever it is you're looking no, for. Not and now you're still looking for my ID. What do Rolf Mueller, Park Ranger Dick Powell, California Highway Patrol James Purcell, Ken Landwehr, Callie Otis, David Lee, Texas Ranger Frank Hamer and Mike Albrick have in common? Well, these are all cops that caught serial killers like Jeffrey Dahmer, Charles Manson, Dennis Rader, Ted Bundy, Bonnie and Clyde, and John Wayne Gacy. You see, cops are trained to run everybody through the ringer, see if we can get the bad guys off the streets. At this point, cops have lost all respect for the Fourth Amendment. They look at this as a mere technicality, but that vision seems to be at odds with the Fourth Amendment's language. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. So how do we fix this, folks? Well, we need to remind them that the founders included it in the Bill of Rights and that the people demanded to be added to the 1789 Constitution as the price for its ratification. Keep watching, folks. I did not verify that. So now you want to try to violate my constitutional rights? Is that what you want to try to do? Because I've been, I've, been, I've been doing a whole lot of research on this. Okay, you should probably read up on the laws then, my friend. Oh, I do know the laws. Okay. What, uh, what crime have I been suspected of doing? You look like a guy that has a warrant. My partner's checking the photo right now to make sure it's you or see if it isn't you so because you suspect i'm somebody what law is that breaking yeah look, look real good look if you got your id on you, look look on real you. good look if you got your id on him you, call the supervisor i'm not calling a supervisor it's call the supervisor look sir can i get your name and your badge number that's not a problem deputy your id 2175 so you can i get yours so here's the thing if you just give us your id and we make sure that you're not the person that we're looking for then we're we're all good i don't have to give y'all nothing okay well then we're probably going to ask you to step out of the car till we can identify you if we think that you are this person and I think okay and you can call for a supervisor too i'm not doing that because my supervisor is going to say the exact same thing i'm telling you right now okay call for a supervisor let's get him out here let's see what he got to say my supervisor is not going to tell me anything different he, okay but if i'm requesting for a supervisor y'all got to call him supervisor or not, I do not. I don't okay know. well all right, would you mind just stepping on the platform again? All right, get your put your phone on top of the car. I'm detaining you right now, sir, so I can't. What am I being detained for? What law have I what law have I uh broke? You because we believe that you might be the person we're looking for. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. But I haven't committed any crime. Well, you're suspected possibly having committed a crime if you have a warrant, right? I haven't. And you're feeling like I don't, I don't have no warrants. Okay. Well, I haven't committed any crime. What are you going to do? What's your name? Are you going to What's your name? Deputy Burton. W Deputy Burton? Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your badge number? 2590. Say that again? 2590. 2590? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to identify yourself? 
went along about committing. Are you wanted? Because here's the problem. If I think that you who you this person is, if I do believe that you might be that person, and I can't identify you because you don't provide me any kind of positive identification, then I just have to go off based off looking on a picture of somebody and thinking that you're Okay, him. that's why I said look at the picture good and look at me. Okay, do you have an ID on you? So look I can at the picture. Whether... Look at the picture yes. good and, I think and look at me. The, and I think you might be the person. And you think? Yes, that is correct. You have an ID on you, sir. Yes, I do have an ID. Where's your ID? It's in my pocket, and I do not give you the right to search. Which pocket is it? So you gonna violate my constitutional rights and search me? Nope. Somebody record this. You have the right to identify. No, you don't. I didn't give y'all right to uh, search my purse. That's fine. So, okay. am I the person you're looking no, for? You're not the person you're looking for. So, put my shit back in my pockets and get the fuck on out of my face. The bitch, I will be suing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I know it is. All time. you have to do is identify yourself. That's I it. don't have to. I haven't committed any motherfucking crime. If we believe that you might be the person, this is, you wouldn't be. But that's right sus now. that's suspect uh suspicion. Yes, that's, that's what suspicion. you think. Yep, that's real. That's real not suspicion. a motherfucking law. I'm not gonna argue with you anymore because you I'm don't have to fucking yeah. argue. Cause I requested for a supervisor. That's fine. Hey, Bert, can up? you call for a supervisor since you don't want to? I'm at the OIC on this stop, all right? I mean, but still, I'm requesting for a supervisor. You can take him out, Rob. You, you giving us a hard time. Yeah. Whoa, this cop actually said that. You're giving us a hard time. This has to be the most hypocritical thing a cop can say, especially considering he's the passenger in a vehicle, has done nothing illegal, and he's not even the one who stopped the cops. The cops are the ones who stopped the vehicle. you giving us a hard time, too. Are I'm you not giving y'all a hard time. I haven't committed any crime. I haven't did any motherfucking thing wrong. You refusing. Oh, but I don't by law I don't have to. Yes you do. No, I don't. Yes, do. By law, if y'all cannot just y'all cannot just come and approach me and tell me get y'all my shit. Off, man. We're done. I know, I know you done, because I ain't did shit wrong. Okay. So I will be suing the fuck out of y'all. That's fine, see what you want. My partner's got your wallet. Here's your wallet, sir. Can I get y'all uh can I get uh some cars of y'all? I gave you all my information, sir. If you hey, have a problem, you can just call license. a dispatch. Can I get my driver's license? Yeah, my partner's got it. He'll give it back to you. No, don't give it to me. Give it back to the owner. Yeah, y'all want to be assholes? I'm going to be an asshole with y'all. Sir, we were not an asshole anyway. Yeah, you was, because I told y'all motherfuckers I wasn't who y'all was looking for. You don't know that. I do know that. I ain't got no motherfucking warrants. I know what the fuck going on with my shit. So y'all will be hearing from my lawyer in the morning. Y'all have a happy new year. Stop fucking with motherfuckers out here. Y'all ain't got shit else better to do but fish. Y'all can't find shit wrong, so y'all want to just fuck with whoever y'all fuck with. At the end of the night, I ain't got shit to be worried about. Now, y'all always think somebody got some shit to be worried about. Man, fuck y'all. What's good with it, my nigga? All right, folks, we definitely tried to include as much information into the video as possible. We'll leave some of that information for you here as well. We'll also drop that info in the description and in the pinned comment. We're also going to drop the link. We're also going to drop the channel link for Wax World Cold Jr.'s channel so you guys can go subscribe. I don't think police understand the fact that the more they violate people's rights, the angrier people get. The more they're going to be held accountable when more people decide to pick up a camera and start recording, especially if they've watched my channel before, they know that I try to inspire folks to pick up a camera and record. So if you guys do pick up a camera and record, reach out to us at recordpolicenow at gmail.com. We'll take a look at your videos. We'll try to highlight your channels and get you support. And cops, if you're out there violating people's rights, expect people to hate you. When you see your partner violating somebody's rights, stop them. Don't be a coward. Because if you don't stop them, you're a bad cop as well. One of the comments that I get often is that there are no good cops because when a bad cop does something, the good officers just turn the other cheek. So that makes all cops bad. I don't know if I agree with that 100%, but I have seen that pattern where cops just turn the other cheek and let the bad officers do what they will with the people. With that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you go subscribe to this channel let them know I sent you. Use the information I provided to redress your government if you have to. All right, folks, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. So we'll see you on the next video. Peace.